Man United have appointed Ruben Amarim. I think that's how people are saying it now as their new head coach on a deal until 2027. The sporting manager will officially take up the role on the 11th of November. I think that's a bit barking. But anyway, his first game will be away to Ipswich on November the 24th. Is it away at Ipswich, Joe? Is it at your place or at our place? It is at Portman Road, is it? Okay. Uh, Amarim is the sixth permanent manager United have appointed since Fergie and his 26-year reign ended with his retirement in 2013. TalkSport's chief football correspondent Alex Crook was with Sam Matterface and Troy Deeney earlier on and he brought up further information on the appointment. We still don't know the details in terms of his coaching staff or not officially anyway but TalkSport reported on Wednesday when we broke the news that he wouldn't be able to start until November the 11th that he's bringing over uh, five members of his backroom staff at Sporting. We await to see uh, what that means for Ruud van Nistelrooy but United sourcing, sources telling me this lunchtime that Amarine is a different profile from their former managers. He's going to bring a new style of approach and he's part of a broader evolution of the club's football structure. Again, they reiterate that he will work closely with the recruitment team. Uh, we'll speak to Alex Crook a bit later on in the show, so we get more details from him then. So United fans, stick around for that, obviously. Benny, what, what do you make of it? We've been talking about it all week. I went into that piece of audio by saying it's um, the worst-kept secret in football all week. We've all been talking about it. It was always a question of when it's announced, not if, and it's now happened. Yeah. Um, as a United fan, I, listen, I'm excited about the fact he's coming in. I'm excited that everyone's telling me how great a manager he is. Some people are saying that you know he's exactly the same as... Jose Mourinho, but with a, a personality or he's not miserable, etc. But like all managers when they go to new clubs, it's the Premier League. They've not meant managing mm. it before. I, I'm not saying it's a big risk. All I'll say is it's, it's the great unknown. We've no idea how he's going to do until... Well, I think whoever you employ, it's always a risk. Obviously, there's yeah. just lesser risk attached to certain managers than there is to others. Um, of course, there's less risk if you're employing someone who's been in the Premier League for a number of years that's managed at a high level in the Premier League for for a number of years but it's still a, a risk attached to it but you feel a lot safer mm. I think because it's the unknown um, you're a little bit like okay I hope he does okay but I just think because he's going into Manchester United that's where the pressure comes from because you're going into one of the biggest clubs you're going from Sporting who, yeah big club one of the biggest in Portugal um, certainly to now one of the biggest in the world where for the last five six days it's been a news story, Manchester United, Manchester United. It's like, he's on the back page and front page of most newspapers because that's what Manchester United mm. brings. Um, so that's where the risk is attached to it. It's now whether he can stand on that, that touchline, sideline at Old Trafford when all the eyes of the world are, are, are watching him, where he's got loads of people that want him to fail, what, loads that want him to succeed. Ha can he handle that level of pressure? Um, Ten Hag, to a point, did that by delivering two trophies, but his, his league and domestic form suffered because of that. Um, so... Listen, again, it's risk, but he, he seems to be, we said it the other day, he seems to be one of these these managers that's in the new crop of coach, head coach now, yep. no longer managers where they, they look after everything. He's the head coach. And listen, good luck to him. Will he do well? Time will tell. I don't think you're going to see results straight away because when you look at the amount of money that Ten Hag spent before he gets there, one of his biggest jobs, he's got to weed out some of those players, man. And that's going to be the hard stumbling block because when you've got players that are on Manchester United's money, they're not going to go anywhere and get anywhere, anywhere else. That's the problem you've yeah, got. They're not going to go elsewhere and go and get that same money. So they're going to have to bit and I mean, negotiating with their contracts and maybe buy a few out and, and get rid of a few. But it's going to take him a little bit of time to kind of get that dressing room sorted yeah. before we start going, OK, that's an Amarim side. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, I still think it's very bizarre the fact he's got this 30-day notice period. I don't really understand why that was put into a contract at all. If someone meets the, the buyout mm. and you you want to go, go. I, I do wonder if Sporting are trying to find someone to replace him. That's what gives him a bit of time. I mean, I, I get what you mean. Just, just let him go now. I know, but how would you feel if you were playing <coughs> in that dressing room and your manager's telling you, Benny, you do that, you do that, and you're like, well, you're going. What do you care? Yeah, no, I, I still think you would. Just for, uh, so, yeah? Yeah, because also as well, you've got to show a good attitude to the new manager coming in. Yeah. Because I'm guessing, I'm not a manager, but I'm guessing managers speak, right? So they'll be like, what's a so-and-so like? What's he like? Especially if you've been at a club for a long time. And the last thing you want to do is, is because he's leaving you go oh, down tools and then he goes well pff, can't really trust yeah. him so be careful about him OK um, big question what's expected Expected United currently at the moment 14th in the Premier League they've got 11 points from 9 games mm. but they are just 7 points off Villa lot, lot of traffic in between but there are 7 points off top 4 29 games to go realistically United fans will phone up and say what I say I don't think you'll get top 4 I just don't um, but I think if you can finish in Europe again yeah, I think that's a good achievement at least listen it's better than I think you, you have to be better than eighth. Eighth last season, not good enough. No, but no. if you finish in Europe, I guess that's a, a good building block for then next season. Mm. 
But I, I, I can't see. I think there's too much traffic between. It's only seven points, but there's just too many good teams. I think between you and getting into that top four. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein, Monday to Friday afternoon from four on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.